Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today we are taking another look at the Satiator. So there's been a couple of fairly big updates. So uh, the firmware is up to 120. Again, that's a build number, not an actual version number. And the menu is up to 50. So what are the changes? Well, there's Mainly it's around the firmware. There were a couple of issues with sound, uh, especially in PAL, like um, the index sound for, uh, hold on, <laughs> the index sound for Space Jam wasn't working. So we'll take a look at that. But um, there are also some loading issues with uh, a couple of games. Now these are games which have actual loading issues Anyway, so the actual physical discs like Gex has an issue sometimes loading in some regions, and apparently that's fixed. And if that's the case, then it effectively makes the Space Shader better than the original, uh, original machine. So that'd be interesting. So let's give Space Jam a try first, just to see if the index sound business has been fixed. Uh, hopefully, also I can get the sound matching up. My because the Saturn changes resolution so often, my uh, capture device just loses sync and for some reason it doesn't seem to stop recording sound but it stops recording video briefly well the, the sound is, is slightly out of uh, uh, position with the actual video so that's really annoying so uh, any kind of lag like that if it's real lag I'll, I'll mention it I don't think there will be any if I don't mention it then it means it's it's an editing thing and uh, there's no issues but this is looking really strong anyway so but anyway Let's get into Space Jam. I've got about three machines in front of me at the moment, so it's actually really hard to even move around without try almost knocking something off. Right, Space Jam. This is entirely unskippable, <laughs> but we'll show it anyway so you can see that the FMV is working, and it is. It's working very, very well indeed. Right, can we, is this the bit we can skip now? Yes, there we go, right. So let's get, to the, uh, get into the game as quick as possible, because we have to get far past this first part, the uh, little uh, collecting the uniform bit first before we can actually get into the part that had the index sound problems. Uh, Buzz, Daffy. <laughs> I do like this. It is quite uh, Warner Brothers style, so I like that. Yes, go on then. Let's get the costume. Uh, uniform, sorry, costume. <laughs> Again, the load times are relatively the same as uh, the actual CDs. Uh, it's unknown if they'll get any faster, possibly not before launch, but maybe later on. Yeah, there we go. We get the blinds, we get over there. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on! I find this level really just annoying. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if we can get that or not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing now. Is there other stuff I can get? I don't know. 
<laughs> that's about the same amount as I always get, so that's fine. A little bit more, actually, that might be a little bit more than I normally get. Maybe I'm slightly improving at this game. Anyway, into this the important bit. So, originally, when it was the index sound was first fixed, there was a cor corruption when the sound started. And then the sound just been entirely in right. Land, as well as Moron that Mountain. sounds perfect. What a move! That is. That's perfect. All right. Well done, Prof. Ouch! For oh. two, that ties the game. Okay, so this is this is good. Right, we'll do more testing later on, but that's um. That's fantastic. Okay, so yeah, so that's... Uh, I would say that index sound is working now. Uh, more tests will have to be done, obviously, to, to be certain, but that looks really good. Okay, so another game that had a problem was Batman Forever. There was some corrosion on the intro screen. So uh, let's see if that's fixed. Oh, yeah, I did actually break it. <laughs> I was trying a different uh, image, and so... I was playing about with ISOs and stuff. It works, but I didn't do the ISOs particularly well. It still loads though, so that says a lot. <laughs> right, so it's this next bit that's coming up. You'll see the, the Batman's cloak will go across the screen. Come on, do it. And what we had was a block of corruption on the bottom of the screen. Uh, Professor Abrazer believes he has fixed it. So we'll see you in a second. Nope, that's still there, unfortunately. I will uh, report back to him on that one, but that one is not yet fixed. But, uh, yeah, I, I got no doubt that he'll fix it. I really don't. Um, and to be honest, it's not, it's not a showstopper if he doesn't manage to fix it before release because uh, it doesn't actually affect the game any. It's just that intro. Uh, right, uh, so two other games that had issues were Gex and Croc. So Croc, when you loaded it from here, so from this menu, it had graphical problems in the game. Croc's head was missing, water was messed up. Now apparently that is actually a problem with the game, and it happens on a real Saturn, I am told. So if this does work, again then that means that... <laughs> Uh, Professor Braders has somehow made the Satiator work better than the, the bog standard Saturn. Let's... Right. We know pretty soon if it goes wrong, because uh, it's, it's literally right at the start of the game. Yeah, can't just start. Yes! Amazing! God, I hate this game. That camera is just so unwieldy. But yes, uh, graphics look fine. Oops. <laughs> graphics look fine. The lava is uh, is not flying around everywhere, weirdly. So that's brilliant. So that's a game that apparently that has a fault normally. As in, if you load it, the actual original disc onto an original Saturn, and it doesn't have it for running through the satiator. That is a brilliant, brilliant move. Right. Okay, so I think the last game we're going to be testing is Gex. Uh, so Gex uh, got through the intro screen and then just went to a black screen, unless you loaded it from the uh, Saturn's dashboard which you can do you can load the game up from here and it will load it into memory and then you can reset while holding down the a and it will go to the dashboard and you can load it from there so like we can't skip this <laughs> it all started so simply right, can we skip this yes we can right so it's at this point we hit a black screen and we Looks good. Uh, 
Let's see if we make where sure we get into the actual game. Lock and load, little lizard. Bob Hope has more color in his cheek. Right, that's it. I'd say that's working. That's amazing. That's so that's um again I think that's uh, an existing problem. So yeah, no, that's astonishing. We'll just get into the actual game to make sure. Did I talk too soon? I think I did. Okay, well that's moved on. But again, that is, I believe, an existing problem. If we now reset the Saturn and hold down A. Yeah, so the Saturn now believes that the Gex disk is in the drive. So if we start from here. There we go. So now that's loaded up Gex. Skip the intro. <laughs> okay, so let's start again. Time to teach someone some manners. Yeah, this place has all the warmth Right, the so we're gonna do the same thing we did last time, which is we went up here and then we came back down. Oh no. No no no, no, what are you doing? This is the most awful control scheme ever. Right, now we try going in here. It worked out. That wasn't exactly. I was trying to do the exact same steps just to make sure. Right. So yeah. So that's still. It's kind of weirdly. It's half fixed the issue. But again, that's um, that's actually an issue that the the disc has. I believe. If I'm wrong, please do correct me. But the game does work if you load it up from the dashboard, so it's fine. I quite like Gex. I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of Gex, I will say. Not brilliant, but perfectly good. Right, anyway, <laughs> that's it for now. This is looking really promising. We still don't have a release date yet, but I will say the beta is looking good. Uh, hopefully it's coming out soon. Uh, Professor Brazif will tell us all uh, when he is happy with it. Um, I think the major thing he's working on now is the multi-disc support, although Again, it's not, there's not a huge number of discs that require a change to get multi-disc working, but um, I'm sure he wants all the games working if that's possible before he releases. So uh, yes, keep your eyes peeled. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.